The Republican-controlled legislature is voting on a slew of bills that will affect how you vote in the next year's crucial election. All of this ahead of a presidential election year where both sides agree the road to the White House is going to run through Wisconsin. Our Julia Fellow sh shares the one bill the governor says he would be willing to sign. In a crucial election year, it's not often you see a bipartisan bill that has to do with voting, but this one does. Both sides agree that city clerks should be allowed to start counting absentee ballots early, one day early to be exact, to start getting your election results right away. A spokesperson for Democratic Governor Tony Evers says he plans to sign the bill, barring any changes Republicans would make. When we go to bed on election night, we should have a solid, unofficial result of the results of the election. In 38 other states, they process ballots before the Tuesday election. Another bipartisan bill would prevent scenes like this during the pandemic and give proper notice to registered voters if a polling location closes. But Democrats do not see eye to eye with a Republican-backed bill pushing to make a state constitutional change to your eligibility to vote in Wisconsin. The bill wants to change this line in the Constitution by crossing out the word every and change it to only a United States citizen, 18 or older, who is a resident in Wisconsin, is qualified to vote. Make sure that votes of citizens aren't canceled by votes of non-citizens. Democrats claim this bill is a push to make it harder to vote. I prefer to legislate about existing problems rather than assuming a Disney villain lurks behind every corner to try and lie and cheat and steal their way into getting what they want. But Assembly Democrats tell me the governor would veto this bill if it makes it to his desk. All of this ahead of a crucial 2024 presidential election where both sides agree the road to the White House starts with Wisconsin. Reporting in Madison, Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News.